So I wanted to make a video on uh, the beginning stages of text analytics, uh, how to open a text file, how to split the text file, um, and then just sort the uh, text file into the list. So first of all, what you want to do is go over to your command line. You want to go into your virtual environment. So mine is in desktop, test, env dot scripts dot activate and I have a video on how to set up a virtual environment if you don't already have one set up so as you can see here's my env I'm in my virtual environment so what I'm gonna need to do is pip install pandas as you can see it's already been installed for myself but it will be needed in this program so what you want to do then is go over to your Jupyter Notebook once you have your Jupyter Notebook open um, find where your file is at mine is currently in this data and this is just a general sense of like what it looks like um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click, go down to properties, and I'm going to copy this address. So now that that address is copied, I'm going to go back over to my Jupyter Notebook. And I'm going to create a new uh, notebook in my virtual environment. So once I'm in my virtual environment, I want to open that file. So I'm going to open it with a contents, uh, contact manager. And this will be the command for it. Uh, read. And you want to store that in a variable. Char map cannot decode in position. All right. So I want to make sure it's in read mode. And char map. So errors, I'm going to ignore, ignore, see if that works, oh, it does, okay. So let's take a look at what the text file looks like. As you can see, it's a bit of a mess, right? So in text files, uh, what you're going to find out is to break them up, you're going to need to split them. <clears throat> and since this is already a string, I believe, we can use a split method on it. So what I would do is just go split slash end. And as you can see, it's easier to read, right? So what I'm essentially doing, this is just building on a bigger project. I'm doing some text analytics to look through what traders are saying during a certain period of time. So once I have that split, I can actually keep this same name if you want to. It's not the best convention to do this. It's but a splitted split content. Okay, so now that's saved in that variable. And as you can see, just so I can keep that same, and I ran this. And this is one of the cool things about Jupyter Notebook. You can you can see all your output right away. Um, you know, unlike C and C plus plus and like or you have to like run it through an interpreter and then the interpreter will give you some uh, 
input back, you can see this input right away. So this is really helpful. So what I'm essentially doing, I want to get all the information from uh, these taxes to see what specific um, stocks they're mentioning, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a for loop over it and just to see if I can split it on like a comma or something like that for in, in split contents. And this essentially is going to skip and I want to grab the trader's name. I'm going to try to grab the trader's name first. It looks like every four is the trader's name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip through this uh, list every uh, four lines. Oh, let's see if it can grab out the names. As you can see, if you want to, you can do a for loop. Uh, it's best to do a for loop over uh, a list and not a string. For instance, uh, for I um, in. split contents so I'll show you the difference of what I'm doing in here <clears throat> see as you can see it's one's going every four and this one's going every single line so to, the way to do that to split uh, uh, go over four lines to skip is to um, use the alliterator. So once I find that out, and also, you know, quick check of uh, the type, this will let you know um, to uh, check this out. That's to make sure it's a list, not a string, because if you're like looping over a string, for instance, I'll just show you. So now it's a string. If I loop through this, it's going to look like this. <laughs> so that's why you kind of want to loop over a uh, list and not a string because you want to dub double check that type. Otherwise, you're going to be your computer will run for a while there. Okay, so what I'm looking for is I want to grab all the, the um, traders' names, but it doesn't look like I can do that because it looks like every couple ones is off, it looks like. So these are probably not all traders' names. So what I'm going to do here is print it back out. I'm going to look at the long list and see if there's anything I can recognize <clears throat> right away. So I notice it looks like it gives me this text constantly, this two-day text. And some it looks like every four or five, but it's going to be difficult to tell. So what I'll do is I'll search uh, each line for a certain pattern, right? And I'm going to import some packages. So I'm going to import the RE package, regular expression package, and I'm going to import pandas package as PD, which is a naming convention that's pretty standard, right? So the RE package, it has a lot of functionality. It's mainly used to like search strings, stuff like that. It's called regular expressions. I don't know if you're familiar with that or not. But uh, it's very helpful when you're doing some analytics. So you can, and, and again, you can always um, look at these libraries in PIPY, PYPI. And you can go in here and, and like look up some of the documentation on them and stuff like that. And it'll give you a general sense. But uh, RE should be a built in. So. You can just look up Python documentation and it'll give you a better sense. So what I want to do, I want to search for 
today in each line, each string, right? So what this will essentially do is it will, I gotta put an if statement. If today is in this line, it's gonna print it, right? So, so as you can see, you now have some kind of date to work with, right? Okay. So I have the today, so that should give me an indicator of where that is located at. So let's see if I can look at uh, the trader's names again, right? So print I. Let's see if there's some kind of pattern. So it looks like, at least in these columns, that every two lines before the actual trader's name is, right? So before today, the line above and the line below that, you can see the trader's name, right? So essentially what I would do is, so I know this variable is all of them, right? And this prints only statements with um, the today in there. If I enumerate, right, enumerate meaning I could put an index like zero to, uh, zero to the end of the line, right? For instance, say I did this in printed I and J out. Too many values to come in the pack. Okay, oops. So you have to wrap this actually in a length, right? So length is essentially, it's just gonna give me the length of a list, uh, length or length of the characters, right, of a name. And you're going to want to wrap this in a range. And you're going to want to start at zero. And to the length, uh, essentially this will just tell you how long this list is. So it's 2,500 um, lines long, right? So this is going to loop from zero to the end of that, which is gonna be 2515, right? And this is gonna be the index, and let's take this J out. Um, this will be the index of that, so let me just print this off so you can see what I'm talking about. See, So it's just gonna go from zero to 2500, that's it, right? Now, if I put this right next to it, right? and I use the index of that line, right? So you'll see zero, one, two, three, four, five, all the way down to et cetera, right? So now if I look for today in the statement, I know minus uh, the index two levels above has the trader's name, right? So what I can do is I can take this index, right? And that will be index one, right? Okay. Um, I can print the index minus two, right? And that will get the trader's name, right? So let's put this first. Trader's name. And we can say trader's 
name. And then we can put uh, date. And then you can put, let's see where they, so, so if this is zero, right, index zero, right, this is going to be index minus one. Oh, plus one, plus one, right? So this is two down, this is one up, right? And this is so important in Python to learn indexes and stuff like that, to how to loop through lists and stuff. So if you plus one, um, let's get text sediment, sediment, You can grab the text they're speaking of, right? So plus one, right? Mm. No contact. So okay. So now you have the trader's name the date, and the text. So if you want to write this back out to a, um, uh, to a text file, um, what you'd want to do is create a list up here, um, text list. And you can append this, right? So you go text. Append. And you can go like this. And you can do this three times. You don't want to uh, place that uh, today or the, um, these additional um, in the print statement, uh, you don't want to place them in the, <clears throat> the list because if you do, you're going to get an error unless you wrap it in brackets. Okay, because you're pending to a list that only accepts one argument. Two. And we'll just... Uh, comment these out. Oh, did I do that right? Split text. Minus two. One. Plus one. And if you look at this, you can now observe that you have a list of this. Okay, now with the list, you can actually read this back out to a text file so you can look at it later on if you want to do some additional analytics or you can drop this in Excel. Um, so what you would do here is you'd say output text, output text, and you want to change this to W because you're writing. And you want to ignore the errors again. That's F. You want to erase this. And then you want to loop through this for I. And, and coding, you use a lot of uh, loops and so forth. Okay. You want to loop through this text list. Okay. And you can write this out F W R I T I and you're gonna wanna even though you can't see it, you're gonna wanna put a 
plus this is a new line. So this will break each line by line in your text file. Okay, so con control enter is a shortcut. Um, you can run the file. And you should see in data, got output text. And as you can see, you got all this stuff, right? So this is going to be super helpful, especially if you're doing like analytics and stuff like that, um, because you can obviously do additional information on that as well as save what uh, what these uh, traders are saying. So I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you did, um, please give me a like, give me a subscribe. Uh, if you want to hear any, uh, see any additional videos or anything like that, um, leave a comment down below and I'll, I'll uh, try to make something for you. Thank you.